Hardly any civilian is allowed to enter the town of Agoncillo now. And it is clear why. massive earthquake and now even police officers will have to leave from their station we were just here a few moments ago hoping to embed with them but now we really we really have to leave this place officials are calling this area ground zero Agoncillo is just around 10 kilometers away from the Taal volcano that erupted on Sunday, spewing ashes and lava. We've been told that water in this lake has gone up by a meter, raising fears that it might spill over its banks, hampering efforts to help those in need. You saw how it's like. The situation is so volatile. It is hard for us even to secure our own men. This is why we don't allow most civilians to return. Violent explosions like these haven't been seen here in decades. And experts warn there could be more. More than 20,000 people have been displaced, moved to at least 100 evacuation sites. And it's not clear when they might return. But some have decided to stay, like the Mendoza clan. During the day, they look after their cattle and whatever is left of their homes. And at night, they go back to the evacuation site. Our human lives are important, of course, but we also look after our animals and do our best to save them. I never thought we would live to see this day. It is really scary. We are afraid. Just a few days ago, Agoncillo was a thriving agricultural town. Now people here say it's as if their lives have been put on hold and are full of agony and distress. Jamela Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Agoncillo, Batangas Province, Northern Philippines.